Okay, so what we have here <laughs> is a busted polybutylene fitting, T-fitting, as you can see. Still has water coming out. I had to take a cold shower this morning because this had been leaking before we discovered it. And it was, this is our hot water line. It was emptying out the hot water heater. So, as you can see here, this has already happened once before on a cold water line, and we had to fix it with brass and uh, PEX piping, since the polybutylene is no longer available because the fittings are subject to a class action lawsuit, and they're no longer manufactured. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to cut out this old fitting with these ratchet cutters. Job very easy. Try to make the cut square so we can get a nice joint. Okay, so I'm just going to assemble a PEX T just like this one, and then I'll crimp it in to the uh, existing polybutylene. Okay, so here's the old polybutylene fitting that we cut out. You can see it's cracked, just sheared right off, right at the crimp ring, um, which is why they don't put these in houses anymore. They just break the plastic fitting. So we're going to replace that with a brass fitting and use this uh, PEX pipe, which is a slightly different diameter, but uh, does the trick. Okay, so I've got all the parts laid out here. You know, we have the brass T for the PEX, came in this package. Um, we have the crimp rings for the, to put the PEX onto this T fitting. Um, and then we have the couplers that uh, join the old polybutylene pipe to the new PEX. Um, and each one of those comes with the two different crimp rings. Um, this is the polybutylene, this is the PEX. Um, this side with the three rings on it is uh, the PEX. This side with the several rings on it is the polybutylene. So I'm just going to cut three short sections of this uh, PEX so we can get a, get a repair going here and get our water back. Again, try to make these nice and square. Okay, so we've got three pieces. Um, slide the crimp, crimp ring over it, stick it on there, and then we've got the crimp tool here. This is half inch, and just center it on there. Probably a little more uh, particular about this than I should be. But you can see it's got two teeth on each side and they mesh together and make the crimp. So there it's started. Just clamp down on it. There it is. Will not come out. Okay. Then one more. Okay. 
careful because this stuff slides around. You want to get it centered on the barb of the T for your crimp. And there is our pear tea. Now we just have to put these couplers on. This is much easier to do while the thing is not attached to the plumbing than it is when we have to go back under there and put this in. Okay, looks good. Do when we go back under there is cut the existing pipe to length, slide these over each end, slide the pipe over the coupler, and do like what we just did crimp it right there, put the pipe in place. Okay, so here we are back up under the house. Um, and we'll just uh, See how much of this needs to be cut off. Just do it by eye. Leave it a little long. This stuff is plenty of flexible, so it's not really an issue. this up first. So it's ready to be crimped. Make sure everything's bottomed out. I'm going to cut this. 